This is the kind of property that just reeks of luxury. It oozes luxury. It's all about luxury. Location, landscape, and luxury. I don't want to labour the point, but there's almost a magnificently ridiculous level of opulence going on around here. This is not a lap of luxury. This is a marathon. And clearly, such indulgence and opulence comes at a price. So you may as well give into it and plonk your bottom fair in the saddle of sumptuousness. Emirates one and only Walgan Valley, as it's officially known, is an oasis in the midst of 1,600 hectares of rugged wilderness, just a three-hour drive from the big smoke of Sydney. Five-star fancy resorts in the great Australian bush don't tend to go hand in hand, but here it's a seamless union. Sandwiched between two magnificent national parks, the resort's footprint on this ancient landscape is minimal, occupying just 2% of the total property size. Now get on up. Surprisingly, the hotel room is the size of a house, complete with its own swimming pool, lounge room, fireplace. A walk-in wardrobe the size of a bedroom and a bedroom big enough for an acre of bed. A walk-through shower, because that's important. A bath with a view. Oh, and the hallmark of every luxury hotel, a thousand lights, each with their own switch, and the place you'd least expect to find it. There's certainly no need for an upgrade when these decadent villas are the resort's regular rooms. There's 40 of them in total dotted around the property. And we have an attitude that we've got to blow away the customer yeah. and create everlasting memories. Yeah. And that's what we're about. And, that, and if we can do that, then we're going to get some incredible guest experiences, amazing guest comments, and then people want to return. But, of course, the resort also has its own magnificent pool, with its surreal backdrop of sandstone escarpments as far as the eye can see, as well as an ultra-luxurious spa. And, as you would expect, some of the finest and freshest local produce you can feast your eyes upon. Does the garden dictate the menu, or does the menu dictate the garden? A bit of both. Yeah. For, for planning going forward, we will try to work out what we want, what grows best down here. So every guest's plate, there's something that's something, yeah. pretty much direct from the garden? 100%, yeah. That's magnificent. Yeah, it's pretty nice. While the Walgan Valley price tag is admittedly high on the indulgence scale, meals are all inclusive, and these gourmet picnic hampers are one of the most popular picks for a day out bush. There are a few options when it comes to exploring this great wide yonder. You can saddle up man from snowy river style, grab your complimentary mountain bike, or take it nice and easy on an afternoon wildlife experience. What are they? Wallabies, are they? Eastern grey kangaroos, these Eastern fellas. Kangaroos. Uh, the main ones we can see out here are predominantly Eastern greys. Uh, a few wallaroos thrown in there with them. The, um... International guests must go crazy for this. Yeah, definitely. Um, as I said, it doesn't help reinforce the stereotype that we have kangaroos bouncing everywhere, but here we really do. Yeah. Any idea how many how many of them you have on the property? Uh, there was a rough estimate done at about 4,500. However, that was a few years ago, uh, so that number could have climbed. You've got a lovely spot here. Uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful, and particularly at this time of day, just sitting here in the tranquility, listening to the animals, it's nothing better. Is it any wonder the Australian bush has inspired so many writers and poets? I mean, look at that, and with this sunlight just illuminating the valleys and the Peaks. It's a character of ever-changing majesty and, and mystery. And what a valley. I mean, how beautiful is this valley with the escarpment that totally surrounds you with its feeling of enclosure just sort of magically highlights this great, big, beautiful sky.